welcome to my channel guys so this video is going to be another episode of the weird movies and curls a series on my channel where i do my hair while reviewing a really weird movie so the movie i picked for today's review is going to be a new zealand horror comedy the black sheep from 2006 written and directed by Jonathan King and starring Nathan Meister, Tammy Davis, Matthew Chamberlain, Nick Fenton, and Sam Clark. And the hairstyle that I'm going to be doing today is a twist out. You guys had seen me take down a twist out before. That was actually the first ever video that I did on the weird movies and curls where I was taking down the twist out. But you all didn't actually see the process of me struggling to actually twist my hair to create this twist out. And I'm going to tell you right here, right now, I absolutely suck at twisting and braiding hair. But my twist outs and braid outs, the end results of them do generally come out looking pretty okay if i do so as so myself so if me like twisting my hair is going to be looking really cringy to you because i really suck at it like i said bear in mind that the end result most likely most likely is going to be good so the products i'm using once again i'm going to be using this tgin products i'm just going to keep using them until i run out and then i probably wouldn't repurchase them just because i really hate the smell of these like i mentioned before in some other video they smell like apples and i really hate apples so i probably would not buy that just because of that because um the smell just really irritates me whenever i have to smell it in my hair but anyways my hair right now is halfway dry it's basically just damp which is just like I like doing my twist outs. I don't like doing my twist outs on like soaking wet hair because then it takes forever to dry. So yeah, so The Black Sheep is a movie about an experiment creating um, genetically modified vicious killer sheep that survive on a nicely balanced diet of human flesh. And... Um, the mutant sheep's bite, on the other hand, if they do not actually end up killing you, will in turn turn you into some type of a mutated human-sheep hybrid creature that is also hungry for human flesh. And then a group of activists that are against this whole thing, experimentation on animals and stuff like that, who stumble across this monstrosity they are trying to put a stop to this whole thing and in the process being chased by human eating um vicious mutant sheep i feel like my hair is detangled enough now let me use the custard to twist my hair with this movie right off the bat it kind of put me in the mind of this other horror movie where um, genetically modified muta mutated animals that are technically not vicious but are turning vicious because they're genetically modified. I'm drawing blanks right now for whatever reason but there is this movie about giant um, killer rabbits that attack people. I actually reviewed this on my channel before so I should definitely know the name of it. I don't know why I cannot remember it for the life of me. Let me detangle just one more time the black sheep definitely puts me in the mind for this movie because both like rabbits and sheep are not the kind of animals that you think is like aggressive or going to attack people or bite people or eat people but in this movie you have to believe that because they've been genetically modified and made them so the black sheep was more actually on a wacky side than on a weird side i specifically watched it for my weird movies and curls video because i thought that the concept sounded really really weird but the movie itself wasn't really all that weird it was more wacky and it taught me something new today because till today i actually honestly thought that weird and wacky is the same thing but i now realize that it's not quite the same thing there is a bit of a difference and this movie definitely didn't feel like all that weird to me it felt more wacky so anyways um one thing that one thing that i definitely gotta say about this movie right off the bat is i definitely enjoyed all of the practical effects in this movie all of the props all of the prosthetic makeup for the human sheep hybrids all of the blood guts and gore in this movie all of that was really really cool and this movie does get really bloody it gets really gory but all in good fun it's all more of about being like funny gross out style it's like 
actually really scary or anything like that which you know i really like both i really like gory horror movies where the gore is supposed to like really scare you and disturb you and i also like the ones where it's supposed to just be all in good fun and supposed to be more wacky than scary and this one was definitely more like on the wacky side than on the scary side it was gross in a good way and it was fun so i definitely enjoyed that i enjoyed all of the scenes where the sheep the killer sheep were attacking people because it was absolutely fucking bonkers and ridiculous the whole movie is very ridiculous but um in a good way it never takes itself seriously it knows exactly what it is and all in this movie is in good fun and i definitely appreciated it about it i like how there were a lot of scenes that had like this over the top um over dramatic kind of um action movie style music especially when sheep were attacking people that kind of adds like a certain urgency to the scene but at the same time you never take the situation seriously the characters in this movie were i would say rather bland actually but i didn't really mind it because i wasn't really watching this movie for the characters to be 100 percent honest i was watching it for all of the ridiculousness and all of the man eating sheep action and there was plenty of that going on in this movie i would say that this movie definitely has a whole lot of horror movie cliches in it especially like horror comedy cliches the plot is obviously very silly the characters are pretty stupid at times and make some really dumb decisions and stuff like that but i feel like this movie is very self-aware of that and it's done like that on purpose it's once again not to be taken seriously i do feel also that the story itself was not all that original know or interesting and it was fairly predictable and in between the actual scenes where a killer sheep is like attacking people or eating people up this movie is nothing like too special to write home about but at the same time i definitely feel like there was more than enough really stupid and crazy and ridiculous and wacky scenes in this movie that i enjoyed for me to still uh, end up enjoying the movie even if the plot in between those scenes like the filler plot in between those scenes was not all that great it was still kind of fun there's a scene where two main characters literally fall in like this pit filled to the brim with guts whether it's human guts or sheep guts or both i'm not exactly sure but whatever the case may be it looked absolutely fucking disgusting it just looked so gross when they fell into that pit face first but once again this is the kind of movie where i kind of enjoy the gross out factor it just really made me laugh just because of how gross it was also one of the main characters of this movie has like this really weird phobia of sheep i didn't know that was even a thing is that even a thing i wonder like who the hell is scared of sheep but then again i shouldn't be the one to talk because i'm scared of spiders and probably a lot of people would find that to be really silly but then again come on i think it's a lot more rational to be scared of spiders spiders got eight legs they crawl like so they just really gross and disgusting and sheep are all cuddly and fuzzy and you know who the hell scared of them but then again in this movie you should be now once again like i said this movie does remind me of the night of the lepus now i'm finally remembering the name i was drawing blanks before for whatever reason but yeah because of how both movies basically have the type of uh, animal that you would think is the least aggressive to be uh, shown performing in very like aggressive ways and attacking people and shit and i think that this movie actually does a lot better job um the night of the lepus and executing that concept and i don't really mean to compare it to that but i just can't help it simply because they just had better practical effects they have this scene where there's like this little baby sheep lamb is attacking somebody like a real piranha or something and it looks so ridiculous but at the same time so much fun to watch i really love how they gave that thing like really crazy loopy looking eyes i also think that this movie had moments of surprisingly cool cinematography i mean there's a lot of shots where people are like in open fields and farms and stuff with like scenery behind them that looks pretty nice like made me want to go outdoors and do some type of a like um 
oh no, outdoorsy activity as opposed to being stuck in front of the TV screen, glued to the TV screen like I always am at home. Always made me want to walk around on some farm or forest or something and pet little farm animals or some crap like that. There were also times, not even gonna lie, where the background kind of looked like cardboard to me as well. I'm not sure if it was or if it was not. But yeah, overall just a really, you know, cool, wacky movie. Definitely not something to take seriously. If you want to watch something profound that's going to teach you great life lessons or really make you think about stuff, then this movie is definitely not the one. But if you just want to watch something silly, something that you would like kind of laugh at and roll your eyes at on how... At how ridiculous and silly it is where you get to see whole bloodbaths involving sheep <laughs> attacking humans you see a bunch of people being chased by um vicious sheep with crazy eyes and mutated features if you want to see people falling face first into the pit fit with blood guts and gore if you want to see a human slowly but surely turning into a human sheep hybrid somebody take off their shoe and you see a whole hoof underneath there instead of a leg then there is a whole really cool werewolf like process of transformation of that shit like that then you know definitely check this one out i would say that in tone this movie was a lot of fun because like i said once again it doesn't take itself seriously this is another like strength of this movie this movie has two really great strengths i feel like one is the practical effects for all of the kills the killer ship and the gore and the human ship hybrids and stuff like that and the other strength this movie has is that it doesn't take itself seriously it always knows what it is it knows how silly it is and it just kind of has fun with it like it knows what it is and it acts accordingly. The acting in this movie was to me mostly very over the top, which was fine. Some of it seemed like bad acting done on purpose, which was once again also fine. I wouldn't really expect anything else from the kind of a movie it was. There were also scenes where sheep were like seen eating either humans or eating like guts, eating bloody stuff and eating meat. And that always like triggered this response in me where I'm like, wait a minute, sheep not supposed to eat no damn meat? Like it just always looked so like weird and off. And that just added to the overall wackiness of the movie for me. So in conclusion, I feel like if you wanted to watch something just really kind of, you know, like lightheaded, something that is just fun to watch, something that doesn't make you think any deep thoughts or feel any deep feelings, you're just having one of those days where you just kind of want to turn your brain off and just enjoy something completely harmless and mildless and just silly fun, then this movie is just what the doctor ordered. If you are like one of those people that after watching something particularly scary or disturbing need to afterwards watch something really silly to like neutralize the disturbing effect of a, re a really messed up movie <laughs> or something along those lines that I would also recommend popping this one in real quick finding it on 2 TV. it is on 2 TV by the way which comes as no surprise like this movie just has 2 TV written all over it it is very 2B very typical kind of a movie that you would find on that app which i absolutely love seriously on a side note i feel like i actually enjoy tubi tv which is free a lot more than any of the streaming services that i actually pay for like shutter and netflix i feel like i actually watch tubi tv the most on netflix i mostly watch anime and like tv series i barely even watch horror movies on netflix i don't think netflix is all that great of a source of a horror movies there's quite a few horror movies on netflix that i really really like but those are very few and far in between and for the most part i don't necessarily go to netflix when i'm looking for a horror movie to watch you know like if i find a good horror movie on netflix then great but i don't really go to netflix for that and then shutter movies are very hit or miss for me like i absolutely love some of the movies that shutter uploads like some of the shutter originals or shutter exclusives but there are also a lot of misses on there and they don't have quite that big of a selection while on Tubi TV the possibilities seem to be endless like no matter how long I'm scrolling down on the horror movie section on Tubi TV seems like it just never ends and they are not afraid to add all kinds of horror movies it's including really goofy and silly ones like the black sheep 
so yeah as i was saying before before i totally lost my train of thought and started comparing streaming services um if you ever need if you are one of those people that ever needs to watch something really silly after watching something like really heavy and disturbing and wants to take your mind off the disturbing factor of something that you just watched that just triggered or traumatized you then i think um putting this movie in and watching this could be once again what the doctors ordered it would just take your mind off anything like heavy and just has you sitting there thinking about how silly this damn movie is and how ridiculous it is and also how much fun it is so here's that i would give the black sheep a rating of 8 out of 10 because i just thought it was just like really fun it's not a great movie by any means like it's more of a 6 out of 10 or something but i would give it an 8 because i thought that it was really fun and i just really enjoyed it i had a good time watching it it's nothing special like don't go in there expecting some type of a like really crazy um plot it's not like a very like crazy movie despite the fact that the plot itself sounds really crazy the execution of the movie is really not all that crazy it's a lot less weird than i actually expected this movie to be but it's really silly and it's really ridiculous and it's really gory and it's really over the top and it's really fun and once again it has vicious man eating killer sheep who can go wrong with that right so thank you guys for watching as you can see i am done with the last of my twist if you had seen black sheep then then definitely let me know what you, did you guys think about this movie in the comments let me know in the comments also what other weird movies i should check out in the future for the next episode of the weird movies and curl series on my channel so if you're new to this channel and enjoying my reviews so far and enjoying this little series that i'm doing on my channel so far called weird movies and curls then go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you wouldn't miss any future videos and i will see you in the next one okay bye